Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Stephen King video. From the title, you can already expect how this is going to go. I've made updates on Discord, on the community tab here, and uh, I honestly don't know what to say. Uh, first, I want to preface this with uh, I was wrong. Uh, never have I been so wrong. Um, I, I've been known to say and been known to have said that writing a story book or whatever what have you uh, that takes place during COVID that does not mention COVID seems kind of revisionist to me uh, it would be like writing a story set during the Spanish flu and nobody mentioning the Spanish flu it would be like someone writing a story set during World War II and not mentioning World War II. It is a huge cultural milestone. I was wrong, and let me explain why. Uh, this book that we are talking about today is uh, Holly by Stephen King. Uh, that's how far I got, and that's as far as I'm going to get for the foreseeable future. So there will not be a review or a Thursday Theorist anytime soon. Um, it felt like it might not be, but it felt like COVID was mentioned on every single page. And if it wasn't COVID, it was something having to do with uh, Trump or whatever. It was literally like reading Stephen King's Twitter feed. Um, now, I am on the same side of the aisle as King when it comes to politics, and not even I could take all of the COVID shit. I could not finish it. Um, I got about 150, no, it was right at 156 pages into it, and I finally just stopped. As far as I know, uh, it could pan out that COVID has a a meaning here but from other people that I have talked to who have read the book it says it has absolutely nothing to do with the plot he just kept droning on and on and on and on bringing up in situations where it had no purpose whatsoever and yeah I was wrong you it is possible to uh, to write a book that is too much about the time frame uh, now, had the how had the illness, the disease, the virus, had that been a plot point, I might have continued reading. But from what I understand, um, people telling me without spoilers that it really has nothing to do with the book. It just has to do with the time frame. Now, King has done politics and everything his entire career. Uh, going all the way back to the stand, maybe even before that, but the stand, there were politics, there were power dynamics and all that stuff. Um, and then you have the dead zone, uh, where he takes on an evil politician. You know, he, he's always done this. But for the most part, and I know, I know the comment section is going to turn into a dumpster fire, but he used to be subtle about these things. And he was subtle, in my opinion, until Holly. Now, I know many of you are going to disagree, especially folks on the other side of the aisle. That's fine. But, uh, yeah, this is this is too much. Uh, in, in my opinion, I'm, I didn't enjoy reading it. There's not a single thing happening in this book that has piqued my attention. Um, and now we're going to go into uh, minor spoiler territory here. And I, I mean minor because I, it... Maybe this will bring some more people to read it. I don't know. Um, there's absolutely nothing supernatural in this book. Um, and that's secondhand information from other people. Uh, I didn't get there, but I started asking. I was like, hopefully this is supernatural, right? 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 And they all told me no. It is just your average thriller. And I hate to say this, but I am of the opinion that this is the most Dean Koontz book that Stephen King has ever written. It felt like Koontz. It had the the odd quirkiness of a Koontz book. It had the uh, heavy-handed preaching. It had everything bad from a Dean Koontz book. It is is what we have here. Um, now I know I know plenty of you 
out there love this book. Uh, this is this is just my opinion, um, and I took so long doing this for a couple reasons. First off, I've been busy. Second off, I really, truly wanted to finish it. This is the first Stephen King book that I have ever had to not finish. Um, there were certain triggers in here that got me, um, but that's beside the point. It just wasn't a fun story. There was nothing interesting going on. Even Holly seemed kind of not really nerfed. I mean, she was her basic self, but she was so, of course, obsessed because of her nature. So obsessed with COVID and everything with that, that it just became too much. And even that aspect of it, you know, the way I've harped on it in the past and things, it, it just made me sit back and say, this is, this is not entertainment. This is preaching. And I don't want to read it. I don't want to finish it. So uh, while we are here, I have one other thing to say, which is, which kind of sucks here at the end because it, it is a very positive thing, but I've said all this negative stuff beforehand. Uh, one of you out there by the name of Moxie was nice enough to send me a UK copy of the book, and I truly, truly appreciate it. Even if I don't like the book itself, I love the look of this book. I think... This is, once again, it's just my opinion. I think it's nicer than ours, uh, just because it fits with the Institute a little bit more on the shelf. But that's, a, that, that's neither here nor there as far as quality. This is a good cover. I think this is a great cover, given the subject matter of the book. And thank you so much, Moxie, for sending that. You also sent this book that really piqued my interest. It's called Folklore of Guernsey. I'm probably going to murder that by Marie de Guerre, maybe? I, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe it's just Marie de Guerris, and I'm trying too hard. But yeah, so those are my thoughts on Holly. If you are expecting a, uh, if you were expecting a review in a Thursday Theorist, I'm very sorry to let you down. But these are my feelings about the book, and I have too much going on right now to force myself to read a book that is literally enraging me. Um, now for the giveaway, uh, the, the I'm going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the video right now. I'm going to scroll, just randomly uh, scroll my mouse wheel, and I am going to pick someone. And when I come back, you will have your winner. And we have a winner, and it's someone who is constantly in the live streams, who is constantly uh, popping into the comments. It's bookable. So congratulations, Bookable. If you would, uh, give me an email to churchofthechair at gmail.com. Send, uh, send me an email, and I will get the book out to you. Make sure you leave me your address, of course. But congratulations to Bookable. Um, sorry that I had to give the announcement at the end of a very negative video, but I do hope that you enjoy your book. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Stephen King video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.